I have received thousands of Google reviews for my law firm using a fully automated system, and I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. Step one, make a copy of the email scripts in the description below. Step two is to log into your Google My Business. Search your law firm name, then click on your review count, and then click on get more reviews, and you will find this link. This link, what you wanna do is go paste the link in right here and paste it right here where it says basically replace this part that says Google review link. We're just preparing ourselves so that we can just one shot copy and paste it into whatever system that we have. Third is we want to create two email sequences or text sequences. It's a little bit easier on the email side because we have different tools that can do this for us. I internally use Mixmax, which is a plugin for Gmail. It does require to be on Gmail to use Mixmax. Second option is Active Campaign. This also can you create those series of emails in Active Campaigns. Again, ideally Mixmax run on Gmail. That's the that's the ideal way. If not, the secondary will be some kind of email automation tool like Active Campaign or Lawmatics. And then the other option is through text. So for texting, I don't think there's any text automation like series of text tools. And also you don't want to send text if they already left a review. So yeah, the reason why I like using Mixmax for this is because a couple of reasons, but the main reason is I'm already using email and Gmail to communicate with them. So I don't, I want to continue that conversation in the same email thread. I'll, I'll send these sequences. And when you do that, it looks like it's naturally coming from you and it's, you know, that it's not really automated versus if you have active campaign then essentially it's, it looks like a marketing generic email which i think you know could still be fine but ideally i found to be effective right as soon as we you know finish off right instead of gmail in the last email thread i, I don't even create a new email thread that's it's just in the same email thread then i basically initiate a new the review one sequence uh, i'll show right now how to set it up in mixmax relatively very easy or then I basically, should I need, do I need to do this manually? Even if you do this manually and you just put a VA on it, it's well worth it. Um, it's not going to take a full-time job. It's just be a part of their role, you know, and, and you create a goal for them and, you know, they'll be able to do it. But let me sh uh, show you guys how that's done in Mixmax. So when you have um, Mixmax installed, it basically brings a little setting, allows you to, this is like the Mixmax backend. But one of the benefits of of Mixmax is it has templates and sequences. Templates just save text. I just say I don't have to answer the same thing over and over. I just create templates for everything. And then the other thing is sequence. What if I could automatically follow up with our leads or if I need to provide instructions to, uh, for my clients to do something? What if I make sequences automatically will send them automated emails so that they actually take action? Well, one of the one of the sequences that I made is is called review one. There's two sequences. So one of them is review one. And I simply, you know what, instead of showing it, I'll just show you how I create this. What I do is I click, I go to my Mixmax, click on sequences and create a new sequence. I call it review one for now. Since we're actually using the review one, I'm going to just call it delete later. I'm going to go to actually building it out. So I'm going to click on next edit stages. Now this is basically where I'm writing the emails. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to page two of the playbook. This is review one sequence, email one. I'm simply going to copy this over into Mixmax. Bam. And then the way that these sequences work, it's basically if email one is not replied to in one, or let's say two weekdays, then go ahead and send another request. Okay, great. What if after they don't respond back to this, I ask again? Three videos later. Another request. Okay. But if they don't respond back to that one, what if two weekdays later, another one? The timing of it, you know, play by ear kind of doesn't, you know, there's no secret sauce of like how long you should wait. Just, you know, ask yourself, like, what would be, what would you want? You know, what would be not too much, too little? Is it usually like the middle? Uh, you know, not too frequent, but not too far out is usually the correct answer. It's a couple of days apart. I think it's reasonable. And I'm simply just basically copy and pasting and creating these sequences. And the last one. Be this one. So 
summarized. I created one sequence, copy and pasted all the emails, all the requests for review one sequence. And these are all the asks. Can I please send you a link to review? May I please send you a link? May I please send you a link? So that's review one sequence. There's no subject line because I'm just again going back to the same email thread. If I had to create a new subject line, it would just be quick favor, question mark, something like that. Be a good one. And there we go. There's a review one sequence made. And then review two sequence, instead of creating, I'll just show it to you. So it's basically the same thing that I just did is to create, copy and paste, create a sequence called review two sequence. And I'm gonna uh, review two and simply, basically copy and paste these over, which is right here. There we go. Great. Thank you so much. The review here, the review here, the review here, it's different kind of words straight to the point short pretty much. Okay. So again, try your best. If you are on Gmail, definitely get into the mix max. Um, well, it's also the integral uh, tool that you use for email, uh, email automation. Basically, if you ever want to escape your email inbox, that's the way to practically do that. So mix max again, it's for our Gmail users. We'll talk about why Gmail, why Google module four, and it will be the SMB plan. It's the one that has sequences. It's the one that basically you want. I would probably sign up for monthly, make sure they actually use it. And then if you see they're actually using it, which you should be, then up, up, uh, upgrade to annual 30 bucks a month. Again, this is what I use internally. Get our emails answered across most of our law firms, how to automatically follow up with people, how to sign up, maybe sign up more leads this way. We're more likely to get our clients to follow instructions because if we send them a you know something for them to do, if they don't respond back. Then three days later, say, hey, I just want to make sure you saw this, you know, fill out this intake. So use it for that purpose. And then third purpose is we use it for this review collection, which that by itself <laughs> it pays for itself. So if you're on Gmail, again, call to action, go sign up for Mixmax. Once you sign up for it, then there's a, a Mixmax Chrome extension. You basically want to sign up for this install this and then once you do that then it's going to install mixmax into your gmail right here that's how you know and the other benefits is that they have a lot of other they have a lot of features be able to see when people have to open up their email all right so that is going back to uh our instructions so i'm sure you guys know about this thing so we create two email sequences again you can use mixmax for this that's what i use and recommend for legal funnel students title the first review sequence review one title the second email sequence review two copy and paste the following email scripts to your to your two email sequences and then have your virtual assistant or someone on your team send review one sequence to your clients as soon as you complete your client service like the day of and ideally it should be tracked and then once they your client responds back that will leave you a review then you send the review to sequence again the whole reason why this works is ask let them say yes once you say yes then send them a link even if you take this idea and you don't set up automations with it just that one particular way of asking that correct way if you honestly do this manually uh you know especially if you put a v on it it's well worth it just basically have them do it you will see that it works incredibly well and you will see your reviews pile up and you will make me proud and get to 100 google reviews very easily so a secret hack is you can apply the same technique to increase the chance of getting your prospects to engage with you for other asks. Okay, there's other things. This whole, this thing just doesn't work for reviews. What if you also apply this for other things too? So by first getting your prospect to, to micro commit before you ask them for a big ask. For example, whenever you like your prospects to book a time with you, first ask, hey, are you interested in talking to me on the phone about your problem? Then once they say yes, then you send them a link. Okay, you want bookings or you want anything, don't just send them whatever you want and expect them to do it. instead get that micro commitment first 